Welcome to A Poor Millionaire. Today we're going to talk about five benefits of fasting. Find out next. Welcome to A Poor Millionaire. My name is Curtis and today we are talking about fasting. Normally on this channel we talk about getting motivated, getting rich, and getting rich motivated to get rich and to be successful. But today we're going to be a little off subject and we're going to talk about fasting. This is five what benefits of fasting. Benefit number one, promotes blood sugar control and reduces insulin sensitivity. This is a big one. Lots of people are having problems with their insulin sensitivity. This is creating diabetic, pre-diabetic. This is basically what's making everyone fat. So if you increase your insulin sensitivity, it reduces the likelihood that you're going to get fat and that all the food you eat is going to basically turn into fat. Number two, promotes better health for fighting inflammation. Inflammation is basically those red spots you get in your face. It's it's so obvious when people have inflammation. Basically, it makes you healthier. Inflammation is very horrible for your health, and fasting is one of the th one of the great ways you can limit that inflammation. Number three, may enhance health, heart health, and improve blood pressure. Try 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 saying that ten times fast. Triglycerides and cholesterol levels. Obviously, this is basically your general health. Uh, your cholesterol, which could lead to heart attack, if you've got high cholesterol, that could clog up your arteries so fasting reduces that increase and lowers your blood pressure which is always good that's what also leads to a heart to a heart attack so basically fasting prevents you from having a heart attack number four boost brain function and prevents narrative degenerate disorders this basically protects your brain that's an awesome way of saying basically your brain is being protected when you take when you start fasting so fasting is an excellent way number f i'm going through these really fast you know why because i've got a long Long explanation at the end, but let's go through them really fast. Obviously, protecting your brain and increasing your cognitive abilities is extremely important if you want to get rich and you want to be successful. And then number five, and this is the big one. This is the one I kind of use fasting for. It helps reduce weight. Um, so that's five reasons. That's five quick reasons why you should fast, right? But there's also there's been new research that's basically said that, and th this this relates to all of these that fasting basically causes your cells to eat each other and they call it cell autophagy and it causes your cells to eat each other and it basically all the bat, all the dead cells and all the cells that are cancerous or or have issues or aren't perfect those are the first cells the body gets rid of so when you go on a basically a 36 to 48 hour fast your body basically starts repairing itself because it's saying hey I'm not getting any food so I'm going to basically go into repair mode where if you're eating all the time, then it's not in repair mode. So that's one of the one of the documented studies on fasting. They've said that fasting pr produces this. Now, I've given you all these great reasons why to fast, and now I'm going to give you an explanation of why we're talking about this. We're talking about this because this is under self-improvement because I know some of you guys are first time watching this channel, so I just wanted to give you the basic reasons because some people are going to go, "Oh, that fasting is just silly. That's just stupid." And, and, you know, I've done a lot of research on fasting. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos, and I've done very in-depth studies on it, and I've also fasted a lot. So I have a little bit of experience when, well, a lot of experience, because personal experience, I've fasted up to three days. I've never done anything crazy like five days. There is some research that says you start doing those super long fasts, that it does do some sort of damage to your body. There's a lot of research that states that if you do anywhere from a 36 to 48 hour once you get past that timeline, your cells start, the autophagy starts where the cells start eating the bad cells. There's actually been cancer patients who've gone and fasted and become, and saved themselves. Basically, they give them a month to live, they go and fast for a couple weeks, and it gets rid of the cancer. And in, those, in that dire situation, yes, you need to fast for a couple weeks. And fast until that cancer is gone. Fast until that cancer goes into remission. It is a, it is a if you look it up, and I know it's hard to believe, there are definitely people who've used fasting to heal themselves. Also, lots of famous uh, thinkers have used fasting. Obviously, it's in the Bible. If you believe in the, you know, it's a hard thing to say. If you believe in the Bible. Obviously, if you've read, it's very interesting. There's obviously lots of great people in the Bible. Lots of great people in many books. And the people in the in the Bible use fasting to become, to cleanse the mind and the body. And Socrates used fasting to cleanse the mind and cleanse the body. So this has been used for thousands of years, basically to fix the body and fix the mind. And you do you and when you first start fasting, yes, your brain gets foggy. I get I was foggy yesterday because I was fasting yesterday. 
my brain got super foggy and got super negative and it was hard to fight off the negative thoughts because you know you got all those worries and doubts that you normally have they start creeping in especially when you're fasting so that's one of the hardest part about fasting for me it's not about eating the eating part's the easy part it's just the negative thoughts and then the um, the foggy brain because it's hard to think it's hard to get work done and it's hard to make decisions you don't want to make decisions while you're fasting and you don't want to do a lot of thinking it's definitely hard the brain requires food to do the heavy thinking now after about 24 to th- about 24 to 36 hours sometimes uh, I've done those fasts where the brain actually gets sharper than it normally is because normally you're walk some people and I myself included we walk around and the brain's kind of foggy all right and, and in order to get rid of the fog you have you have to do something right you just know it's it's hard to think you're like why am I having such a hard time thinking right now why am I why is everything so difficult uh, and then you you either eat or you don't eat or, or you, uh, you're sick and then you get well and then your brain starts speeding up again. You're like, hey, I'm back at full power again. So that's, those are the different ways that you can get your brain back to full power. So fasting has definitely helped me in the, in the past with clearing my brain. And I've been on, when I get up, when I get past that 24 or 36, the brain actually starts clearing up. And the, the hunger pains, they completely go away. But I'm so hungry all the time that, that after the, uh, when I wake up in the morning, if I don't eat, I actually feel better. So that's, that's one of the reasons why you can do intermediate fast. Intermediate fasting is basically where you fast because everyone fasts. Everyone fasts when they wake up in the morning. When, you're, when you go to sleep at night, you're fasting. That's why I call it breakfast. So you, everyone fasts at least eight hours a day while they're sleeping, right? Then they wake up and they eat something. So basically, intermediate fasting is basically where you just keep, you keep that going. You stay till you fast till lunch or dinner and you've got a longer window of fasting. Instead of fasting for the eight hours that you did while you were sleeping, you start fasting for 12 or 14 hours and then you eat. So that's what intermediate fasting. Intermediate fasting showed a lot of benefits as well. But if you want those extreme benefits, you're gonna have to crank it up a little more. Little little more, little little crazier, right? Anyway, I know this is a little different out, out of the, what I, my normal channel. This is A Poor Millionaire. We talk about money, success, and getting motivated. But this is, this is I wanna throw out some uh, different, different ideas at people. Plus I feel like this is a personal growth channel too. So I feel like if uh, this is one of the tools I use, you may not want to use it, but you know what? When you get older, you might decide you do want to use it. So you never know. Um, and I know some of you probably already tried it. Some of, some of you might already be doing it. You might already be fasting. So it's just, just different ideas. Guys, you need to look at all the different ideas and you need to try new things. You want to get, you want to get ahead. You want to succeed. You want to become a better person. You got to try different things. You got to try it. Don't try it till you knock it. Don't knock it till you try it, right? So you got you to try different things. Um, and find things that work for you and find things that improve your, your, your success, your health, and your wealth, right? And, and health is extremely important to wealth and well-being because if you're not healthy and your mind's not healthy, it's going to be extremely difficult for you to make money. Guys, I really appreciate you. Li- oh, one last thing. Fasting does help with weight loss, right, guys? Now, obviously, it's, it's, it's a short-term solution, so you kind of have to do it a lot in order to get that weight loss. I have lost weight fasting before. It's one of the reasons why I started fasting was for the weight loss because I'm trying to get trying to get summer ready, trying to look good. So guys, that is a basic a basic understanding of the five reasons. Let's go through them again. Five five things that five benefits of fasting. Number one, promotes blood sugar control by reducing insulin resistance. That is probably one of the best ways to increase your health and increase also limit your you're, when you're getting, when you have problems with your weight getting fat and you're like, no matter what you eat, you still get fat. That's what it is. When you're really young, your insulin sensitivity is really high, but you're constantly bombarding it with sugars. That's what makes you fat. Number two, promotes better health by fighting inflammation. Inflammation is that redness in your face and how your body starts. It's like, almost like you're, uh, you're allergic to something. You're allergic to too much food, right? And you're, and when you, when you do fasting, the inflammation goes down, you get healthier, right? Number three, is uh, enhance healthy heart to improve blood pressure, triglycerides, and cholesterol levels. This is what gives you the heart attack, right? You want that. You want you want the lower blood pressure. You want the healthier cholesterol. There is two types of cholesterol, so don't. It's not just all the cholesterol. You want some cholesterol, the healthy cholesterol to go up, and you want the bad cholesterol to go down, right? So it definitely helps and control that and increase lessens fasting. Is like one of the number one ways you can avoid a heart attack. It's fasting. Believe it or not, you can start fasting, start lowering, start getting yourself healthy, give yourself fit, uh, lower the amount of weight that you have, lower your cholesterol, and you will be healthier and fit and live longer and not have heart attacks. Number four, boost your brain function and prevent neurogenitive, I don't know why I have problems with these words, neurogenitive 
disorders, right? That's obviously like Alzheimer's. You want to, you, if your Alzheimer's runs in your family, fasting would be an excellent way to avoid that. Um, feeding yourself all the time is not going to have your brain where your brain's going to reset, get clear, get clean. Uh, your body's going to get set, get clear, get clean. If you have any super health problems, I would look into fasting. Obviously, don't do anything that, that, don't do anything when, when you first hear it from random guy on the internet, right? You need to do your own research. You need to do lots of research. And you need to understand why, what's, what reason. If you're going after, hey, my family's got Alzheimer's, you need to do all the research on Alzheimer's and fasting and see if it correlates and see if what I'm telling you is the truth, guys. Don't take anybody's word for it. All right, do your own research on everything. These are just ideas. This is these are these are facts. I know they're facts, but look them up, verify them. Don't ever take my word for it. Take make sure you've got multiple people that tell you the same information. Make sure you look at studies, uh, scientific studies. Make sure the research there, and then experiment on your own or with the guidance of a doctor. A lot of you probably need to talk to a doctor, especially if you're in really bad health. I would talk to a doctor first. All right, obviously. That goes without saying, but I just said it. And then obviously, number five is to lose weight. Um, obviously, fasting helps you lose weight. If you don't eat, you lose weight. That's how it works, right? Just a given. And the more you fast, the more weight you lose. So it definitely for weight control. But remember that first one is the fight that insulin sensitivity, and that also affects your weight. And then your overall health. The healthier you are, it's going to be the easier for you to work out and the easier for you to lose weight and the easier for you to stay fit. So fasting helps with all that. And then obviously I already talked about the cell autophagy, autophagy, I can't, why am I having problems with word today? Anyway, basically where your cells eat the bad, the dead cells, basically your body will start eating away all the bad stuff and get rid of it. And you want that to happen. It's basically like, like cleanup, right? It's like all the action's gone and there's nothing else to do but clean house, right? So you're like, hey, there's no more guests. All the guests have left. It's time to clean up the house and get the house ready for more guests, right? That's what your body does. Your body, when it doesn't get food, it starts fixing itself. And think about it. This is like an evolutionary type thing, or if you say higher power, design it this way. So anybody, anybody who survived long term, basically their body was capable of fixing itself while they weren't eating. People weren't designed to eat all the time. Your body's designed for you to for you to eat. And then go a day or so and not eat with with because remember you got to go hunt and get food hunter gatherer right so your body wasn't designed to always eat food in the meantime it's fixing itself it's repairing itself it's clearing itself it's cleaning itself up and it's getting ready to eat again right if you're always eating you never give your day, your body a day off anyway guys this is just a random idea on how to improve your health and improve your wealth and improve your success i hope you hope you found it interesting i'm gonna do lots of weird random videos so stay tuned for more Thanks for tuning in.